brain is the pituitary gland, which is the master gland. When the head brain is hyperactive, the pituitary gland is radioing to the adrenals. And what do the adrenals say? Fight or? Flight. Mm -hmm. Now, the new evolution, the new evolution is all about the heart brain. Medical science calls it the fourth brain. There's true neurology in the heart. And just like the infantile beginnings of the head brain, three and a half billion years ago, the heart brain is in its infancy. But it doesn't have three and a half billion years to develop. It's got about 35 <clears throat> years. But that's okay because this, you remember um, the Mayan calendar event and all of that? Well, the Mayan calendar was based on evolutionary um, capacity. And for a certain amount of information to be evolved through the, the system, the living system on Earth, in the initial stages of the Mayan calendar, which were these stages that they talk about, a per, this amount, and I'm doing this as a metaphor, this amount of information took four and a half billion years to evolve through the system of life. As of 1221-12, which was the cutoff point of the Mayan calendar, that same amount of information that took four and a half billion years now took 12 seconds. I don't know if any of you remember early computing, but they used to have a joke that when you sent an email, go and make breakfast, and when you came back, the email would have been sent. You know, because that's how slow things were. And that's because of the bandwidth. And now, there's a larger bandwidth, and some people are still working on the old system, but the children, you know, these children they call indigo children, crystal children, you know, all of these, these children actually are born with a much larger bandwidth. Mm -hmm. You know, we're like dial up. <laughs> They're like, you know, like major network kind of bandwidth where they're broadcasting television shows. We're just trying to broadcast a few words typed out. You understand? Mm -hmm. So evolution is truly evolving and the younger generation is going to be absorbing this stuff at a massive rate. So 35 years for us to get this evolutionary process is enough if we work at it, okay? And if we work at it, Yogi Bhajan always said, the race is fixed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it's fixed in our favor. So it's good to know that. That gives you a sense of hope. And hope connects the heart brain. So when you, when you override doubt, by having some routine. when Because doubt crops up in all of us. It's part of the human mechanism. When you have a routine that will take place, when doubt comes in, you know, the routine should not be to, to criticize doubt. Because if, if you criticize something which is not going to help you, it will get stronger. Right? So you go, oh, wow. I've been missing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to doubt that what I'm doing will fail. So you assign this doubt to double doubt so that, you know, doubt failure means success, correct? Right. So a double negative produces the positive, and the end result is my pick. <laughs> The end result is that it works. And how do you how do you best show those things which crop up in your head brain, which will block your heart brain from 
being activated and, and accentuated, how do you best work what Yogi Bhajan, and he loved rhymes, Yogi Bhajan loved rhymes, he said, embrace, embrace to erase. Sitting in easy. 